and welcome to another Friday Cast, episode 26. I'm Robert Ratliff with Visit Tuscaloosa, and today we have Jan Pruitt. Jan is the executive director of Kentuck. And Jan, you've got a big festival coming up. Oh, we do. A nationally acclaimed festival. That's tonight. right. Congratulations. Thank you. It's our 39th annual, and we are a festival of folk art, visionary art, contemporary art, and fine craft. We also have music and free children's activities. Correct. And, um, you know, Kentuck has been, this is the 39th festival. Oh my gosh, I next know. year will be the Big 4-0. Oh, that's right, the Big 4-0, which is a, a definite time to celebrate, but, you know, every day at Kentuck is a, is a time to celebrate. And we do have our, our gallery and our shop in downtown Northport, but the festival is, you know, it's certainly the high point of our year. Um, and we have, you know, through the years we've gotten a lot of recognition, but there are a couple of things that have come our way in this past year that are pretty exciting. Uh, Time.com, the online version of Time yes. magazine, in 2009 named us as the authentic American experience for the state of Alabama. And that's good news. Now what makes it even better news to me is that the first year they did that list, they said college football was the authentic, no, this is great, because it shows yeah. me their grip on reality is strong. And so for Kentuck to be recognized you know, in the same category with college football as here in my native state of Alabama, which is, you know, very important. I think it's appropriate recognition. That's wonderful. And then American Style Magazine, which is kind of a trade publication for festivals, recognizes us as the number six festival in the, in the nation. So, you know, this is good stuff to see that national media know what we hear you know, in Alabama and Northport and Tuscaloosa have known for 39 years that this is an incredible opportunity to come out and meet artists, see their work. You know, Georgine Clark was the founding director of Kentuck and she, you know, her vision helped to shape this and she continues with us because she's the curator of our guest artist. So artists doing very original work who are self-taught you know, not part of any particular art scene to begin with. People who come to Kentuck can see this work and, um, you know, kind of being on the ground floor sometimes of seeing work that, that is going to rise in stature. And, of course, many of the guest artists who continue to come are now exhibited in the Smithsonian. They have books published about their work. It's, you know, it's a great thing that we have. Here. In addition to the folk art, there's regular, well, regular, there's contemporary art, you know, in all different kinds of media. There are fine crafts. The West Alabama woodworkers are a big part of, of uh, what people come back to Kentuck for, to see this, uh, you know, amazing things that can be done with wood. Uh, Sloss Furnaces, the um, metalworking, Steve Davis, Carrie Kennedy. Of all the Kentuck studio artists who are also demonstrating artists at the festival. So you can come and see for yourself and bring your kids and, and see that's how this is made. And through Kentuck for Kids, you, um, you and your child, and you know, you might have to like do it alongside your child <laughs> or just, you know, check it out for your nieces and nephews in my case. Um, it, it gives you an opportunity to get hands on with art. Kentuck really brings the community together. I mean, so many volunteers are what made Kentuck happen. And then the artists who come in from across the country, and, you know, I was a, a fan of Kentuck long before I was associated with it as, a, as an employee. And, you know, it's just such a special time. I mean, there's very few places you can come and be surrounded with such a variety of art, such a a good energy and find things uh, that you that you just can't live without. I, I know but, what you're talking about. But a, a trip to the festival, you know, you don't have to purchase anything. You can just walk around and enjoy it all. But if you do want to purchase something, uh, what one of the things that impresses me and I think is really useful for people is that artists are going to have material at all different price points. So maybe a great big painting is not in your budget, but something small that you're going to enjoy just as much um, will be available. I know friends, and I'm actually one of the people who 
kind of kicks off her Christmas shopping at Kentuck and starts because there, you know, there's things you can get there that you're just not going to find exactly. anywhere else. Absolutely. So I, I, I hope I'm not speaking in an excess of enthusiasm, no. but, uh, but I love Kentuck and so do the people who come to in it. In our house, in our dining room, is a beautiful red piece of raku pottery. Oh yeah. In the den is a piece of fused glass. And in our bedroom is a wonderful wall hanging that has a blue heron carved into a piece of cypress wood okay. mounted on a black frame. Mm -hmm. So every year we now know, well, this was from this year, this was from this year, mm -hmm. this was from this year. Yeah. And then, of course, a lot of Christmas ornaments that we've acquired oh, yeah. from various artists over the years mm -hmm. that come out at Christmas time. So, I mean, each thing in our home yeah. that has come from Kentuck, we remember the year that we purchased that, mm -hmm. and usually the artist that it came from. And right. we see them a lot every year when oh, we yeah. go back. So. And they're probably people, as I do, you go and you visit and you, mm -hmm. you see how they're doing and what their new work is like. Yeah. And it's, I, it's just a great weekend. Well, tell everybody <laughs> the dates, how they can get tickets. Sure. And uh, the who, what, when, and where. Okay, well the dates are, we're the third weekend in October, and this year that's the 16th and 17th. Uh, we are in Kentuck Park, at, which is in uh, ooh, 3051 Fifth Avenue, no sorry, Fifth Street in Northport, but Kentuck Park. And to get tickets and to get more information about the festival, you can come online to www.kentuck.org, and that is like Kentucky without the Y, K-E-N-T-U-C-K. Uh, you can call us, 205-758-1257. And we'll also be uh, continuing to post information on Facebook and Twitter under uh, Kentuck Museum Association. So I hope you will come, and um, you can buy advanced weekend passes, $15 for both days, that are only available in advance, either online um, at our website or by calling, again, 205-758-1257. Uh, passes, day passes are also available in advance or at the park. It's $10 a day. Children under 12 are admitted free, and the Kentuck for Kids activities are free. There may be some where if you pay a little, you might be tie-dyeing a t-shirt instead of a handkerchief, but there's uh, plenty to do that, that is absolutely free of charge for children and, uh, again, for adults um, over 12. Uh, just one ticket price gets you into a wealth of entertaining things. You know, I didn't mention the bands. We do have eight bands and on the two stages. And, and the, the food. food. Yep, I got my funnel cake lined up. <laughs> <laughs> but there's also just terrific uh, southern and ethnic food. You, you can find a fair food and you can find good nutritious food. Uh, and it's all tasty, and it's all fun, and uh, we hope that uh, as many people who possibly can will join us on the 16th and 17th of October at Kentuck Park. Well, we're looking forward to the 39th annual Kentuck Festival of the Arts. Jan, this is a new camera and a new tripod. <laughs> okay. We're going to have to test this out maybe next time, but okay. gosh, we're awfully close, aren't we? We are. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're, We've we're, bonded. We're, yeah, we definitely <laughs> bonded. So you guys have a great week. We'll see you next time.